Hey Pisces and welcome to my channel. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your month of May channeled messages. Um, I want to thank you guys all for coming to my channel and as always for your likes, comments, subscribes, and your continuous support. So we will get right down to it. Pisces, your guys' world is changing this month. Um, for the collective, this will not resonate with everybody, so just take what messages fit and leave what don't. But as a collective, you guys are making huge changes. Um, in your work, your schooling, your love life, um, you are allowing changes, you have let go of control, and you are just going with the flow. Um, for a group of you, you're starting school or you're going back to for like your GED, um, applying for colleges, for another group of you, you're starting training at work, um, it's going to be, you guys are going to come out better because of it. A group of you are dreading this, but it's going to be okay, it's really going to be for the best. Um, Spirit is trying to uh, guide some of you. Um, you're being divinely guided towards a goal, towards something more positive, and you're just not seeing it. So um, really pay attention when you are in meditation, when you are by yourself, when you're silent. Um, pay attention to your thoughts, feelings, um, ideas, dreams, because they are trying to show you something. For a lot of you, you're having a new beginning. Some of you are moving the first couple weeks of May, um, getting a new home, uh, changing locations, getting a new job, just lots of new things coming for you guys in the month of May. Um, for a group of you, you're becoming more spiritually awakened. You are, um, you are moving forward in a positive direction with or without anybody else. You have come to this uh, place in your heart and your mind where you don't need anybody else to make you happy at this point. You are just content with you and you're moving forward so if you want to come with, great. If not, okay. Um, which is beautiful. You are uh, welcoming in your spirituality and a more um, soulful in a more soulful way which is awesome because Pisces you guys are very intuitive very in tune with yourself with the universe and you guys are going to be receiving a lot of intuitive messages in the month of May so let them flow in listen to them um, for a group of you, it's very important that you get grounded with the earth. Um, actually go outside barefoot, walk around in your yard, go to the beach, walk around in the sand. Whatever you can do to um, have skin to earth contact, it's going to benefit you. It's going to ground you. It's going to ground your soul, your mind, your heart. And it's going to allow that intuitive um, message to flow that much more easily if you are well grounded. Sorry my nose is so itchy. Um, For a group of you, your dreams are becoming a reality in the month of May. You guys uh, set goals, you put your eye on the prize, and it is coming to you. For a group of you, if you have, if you're Pisces, but you have fire in your chart, um, mostly Aries or Sagittarius, I'm not really seeing too much Leo. But um, if they are your moon or rising, you guys are going to be receiving major downloads from the universe. Um, major shifts, like major paradigm shifts, major shifts in consciousness. Like you guys are going to start being the conduit for messages from the universe. Um, make sure you're grounding yourself. Make sure you're protecting yourself. Um, yeah, for sure. 
take the time every day to meditate. Take the time to be recentered, and um, because they're coming in and they're going to come in fast. For another group of you, you guys um, are starting new love relationships. Uh, some of you, this is from someone from your past. Um, you've been in separation probably eight or nine months. Um, anywhere from eight or nine months to two to three years in that time frame if you've been separated from somebody they are coming back to you your relationship will be successful this time around just make sure you do not um, count on them for your happiness uh, because you feel like they complete you like they're your other half like you feel whole again make sure you are healed and um, and okay within yourself so that you're not counting on someone else for your happiness. Yes, they may be a big part of your life, but no, they just add to your life. They do not complete your life. So make sure you are staying centered in your own sense of self, your own self-love, um, self-confidence. You are beautiful, whole, without anybody. So do not like get too dependent on somebody for your happiness. Um, for another group of you, you have a new relationship coming in around May 12th. You're going to meet this person. May 12th is a big date for you guys. Um, so if you're invited to a, a get-together or a wedding or something where there's a large group of people, you are going to meet your uh, life partner there. So if you're invited out to do something, make sure you do it. For another group of you, this is for those of you who are married and um, kind of going through a rough patch, things are going to get better. Uh, just make sure you go to your partner with what your concerns are and not somebody else. Um, that's important to hear for somebody. But your your marriage is going to survive. It's going to be okay. For those of you Pisces who feel you are in the twin flame journey, uh, when the sun goes into Taurus, which I believe is May 15th, Around that, your twin flames are coming back. This is for those of you who have not talked to them in you know three, four, five months. They are coming back to let you know that there is no one else anymore. They have gotten rid of their partner that they were with, or any outside competition. You guys will start a reunion in the middle of May. For those of you dealing with a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, they are majorly stressed out right now. They don't know which end is from up, and um, they need your support. So if you are in separation from a Earth sign, reach out to them. Make sure they know that, that you're there, no matter what. Um, I see for a group of you, you guys are moving locations like across the country. Um, if you're planning on moving like in between the 18th of May and the 22nd, Spirit is saying to be cautious and travel. Um, yeah, just be aware of your surroundings. Be conscious of, of where, you know, other drivers. Um, if you are if you are moving across country, <coughs> um, there's a group of you that are going through financial struggles. You're worried about losing your home. Uh, you're going to be okay. Uh, last minute finance is going to come in for you. Somebody that you already know, somebody that you're close to, it could be family, friend, um, a boss. Somebody is going to come through at the last minute, but you have to ask. Uh, they don't know you're in trouble if you don't let them know. So don't be afraid to ask. Um, they're going to help you save your ho your home. They're going to help you get back payments or whatever. They're going to help you get caught up. But you have to reach out. You have to ask. For a group of you, May 6th is a really um, uh, important date as well. Um, I believe that's a Sunday. 
uh, you're going to come into contact with somebody that is going to help you spiritually. They're going to be like a mentor. They're going to be uh, some sort of driving force in your your spiritual rebirth. It's an older gentleman. He's got like green, bright green eyes. Um, you're going to chance meet this person. Um, yeah, you have not met this person before. You could meet them at church. You could meet them. I don't know. It's a gathering. It's a gathering of some sort. And um, they are going to help you move forward with your gifts if that's something that you're interested in. Um, they're going to help you learn how to tune in, how to tune everything out, how to uh, recenter yourself and channel in your messages from spirit. This person is a big influence in your life. May 6th, it's a big date as far as um, meeting this mentor. For another group of you, Um, this is for those of you who like, um, sorry, my legs fall asleep. This is for those of you who, um, have been talking to like people online. I don't want to say online dating because it's not through like a dating site. You are meeting somebody on like a social media platform. They're wanting to meet you in person. You are holding back. You are nervous about this. Um, be cautious. Be cautious of meeting anybody that you don't know you know, for the first time, meet in a public place, whatever. This person, um, you will become great friends with this person. I don't see it like evolving into a like long-term romantic relationship, but um, this person is going to help you find balance in your life. They are going to help you move forward um, and get a whole new sense of yourself. Uh, for another group of you, you guys have some sort of, how do I want to put it, a controversy coming your way. Uh, a situation in your life that is going to cause havoc. It's going to cause a shakeup. You guys see this coming. You know it's headed for you and you're going to be prepared. let it roll with the tide. Don't let it stop you. Don't let it um, stand in your way. For a group of you, this is with family. Um, it's like you guys, there's been tension in the air for too long and you, someone's going to explode. But you see it coming and you're prepared. Just don't let this person get in your head or um, stop you from going after your dreams. Because your guys' dreams are really coming to fruition in May. You guys are really taking a step out of the box and going for what you want. It's a huge, May is a huge month for Pisces. Um, spiritually, romantically, financially. Like you guys just have so many blessings coming your way. Which is about time because you guys have had kind of a shitty year. Um, for another group of you, you're dealing with... Uh, Could be a Virgo, a fire sign, a Libra. Um, yeah, this person is very dominating. This person is very controlling. Um, this person wants to control their life and yours as well. Be careful of this energy. Don't let somebody else make your decisions. This is a romantic partner. This is somebody that wants to keep you in their own little box and don't let the world see you and just have you for themselves all the time. Being in a relationship with somebody is supposed to make us blossom, make us shine outward. This person tries to hold you in and not let anybody else see how much you shine. Um, be cautious of this person. They're very dominant, very they're just very controlling. Um, make sure you hold your independence. Make sure you 
stand up for what you want, what you believe, what you feel. And if that person doesn't agree, then maybe it's time to move on. But don't lose your sense of self trying to make somebody else happy. Um, for a group of you, I see you um, picking up and leaving, like on a vacation. Like just having to get away from it all. Having to uh, take a break from life you're very stressed, you're very bogged down, you're very um, filled with anxiety about the future. Um, take a step back. Go on a vacation. Detach and disconnect from the world. Because if you haven't found yourself, if you don't know where you stand, there's no way you can defend it. There's no way you can move forward if you don't know which direction you're going. So um, if you're in that place of being stuck, take some time out for yourself. Um, for another group of you, you are moving forward beautifully. You are very, uh, very confident in yourself and you realize you no longer need somebody else to compliment you, like as in a partner, a loved one. Um, you shine all by yourself. You're going to find new love. For those of you moving on single, um, in June, you are going to have love coming in of the fire sign nature, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They are very passionate, very loving, very giving. They want you happy. Um, and this, for a lot of you, will be your life partner. For another group of you, they are a soulmate. And this is somebody you've never met before. Once you move forward out of this um, relationship that has been brought you down, um, you haven't been valued, once you move forward, you're going to have a new shine about you, a new glow, a new beautiful vibration that just radiates into the world. And you are going to have people attracted to you from all places. Um, For a group of you, you guys are getting engaged in the month of May, um, towards the latter part, after May 20th, um, so your partner is going to propose to you. For some of you getting this proposal, you guys are in separation right now. They are coming back to you. Um, this is a twin flame relationship. They are coming back to you with ring in hand, and they are proposing to you and asking you to start a life with them. And of course, you guys say yes. For those of you in the Twin Flame journey that you've been separated from, your partner has been working so hard to heal. They were so damaged, as a lot of us are, um, and they have healed beautifully. They have taken the time to um, work on themselves, find themselves, and they're going to come back to you a totally different person. This is not going to be the person that left you or that ran away. This person coming back to you is a better version of themselves and you are going to fall back into union like you guys never left each other. But it's going to be in a much more stable, committed, grounded relationship than what you had in the past. Um, For some of you, however, you are getting up the, um, the courage to move forward and leaving a partner behind. Um, this is a person that no longer serves your, your greatest good. You feel like you're used by them. You feel like you're taken advantage of. You're going to find a sense of self-esteem and you are moving forward, leaving this person in the past. Um, when you do that, your soulmate will come to you. You will call in your soulmate. This is what you are divinely guided to be doing. For another group of you, you guys are getting new jobs. Um, if you've been laid off in the month of December or January for 
mostly you guys are being called in like you guys are being called back into work um, this is like a seasonal position they weren't sure if they were calling people back but they are going to for another group of you um, you guys are getting a promotion within the company this is somebody that works in sales if you work in the, like a, a company of sales you are being promoted um, For another group of you looking for work, um, you're going to find a job where you didn't think you would. Um, just This is like a word of mouth job. Uh, they didn't advertise it. You're going to run into somebody that's going to tell you about this position and you are going to uh, look into it and you will get that job. And this is a very lucrative job. Um, very very um, financially like you're gonna increase your finances radically um, for some of you for some of you you're going to meet your soulmate your life partner at a new job within the first couple weeks of starting you're gonna meet this person um, and it's going to be very passionate and very quick and move very fast. For another group of you, you're partnering up with somebody in your company. You're an uh, entrepreneur and you are going to find a partner to partner up with. This is going to grow your sales tremendously. And not only that, but it's going to offer some weight off your shoulders. You're going to be able to relax a little bit. You're going to be able to breathe. And it's only going to do your company um, justice and positive uh, forward movement. I see a lot of pregnancies in the month of May so either you are delivering or you are getting pregnant. Um, if you don't want to be pregnant of course take precaution because I see a lot of Pisces um, becoming pregnant in the month of May especially that first week of May. Um, May 22nd is an important date for a lot of you um, big changes are coming the 22nd of May, but these are positive changes. Um, it may feel like, it may not feel like it in the beginning, but this is something that has been guided by the universe to happen so you can be shifted into the path you're meant to follow. And huge positive things are coming out of this, and you're going to realize it right after it happens. Um, by the anthem, by the end of May, those positive um, repercussions are going to be flowing in and you are going to be so relieved. Uh, May 27th is also a huge date for people um, who are trying to buy a home. Um, you're going to get word that your financing went through or if you're selling a home, you're going to get word your house sold. Uh, big positive days or big positive uh, things on the 27th. Like I said, by the 15th of May, a lot of twin flames are coming back, soulmates are coming back into um, reunion, soulmates are returning. Um, it's kind of going to be like a blast from the past when the sun and moon move, the sun and moon move into Taurus on the 15th. So hold on because you guys have big, big shifts happening. Your sh energy is going to shift completely. Alright guys, I think that's all I have for you for the month of May. Overall, your guys' month is beautiful. Huge changes, big energy shifts, um, positive outcomes, people are finding work, they're finding homes, they're moving, um, relationships are coming back together. Um, just keep healing, keep doing all that self work. Um, make sure your body is um, healthy. <coughs> Spirit saying a lot of um, people are not taking care of their body in order for uh, you to be successful 100% you have to take care of your inside as well as your outside so make sure you're eating right and exercising and um, a lot of you need to detox detox your body and have a emotional detox like release we are in the Scorpio new moon right now or full moon I'm sorry 
this is the time for release. So if you're holding on to anything from your past, do a release ritual and cut all those things, let all those things die from the past that no longer have a place in your life. And when you do this on the 29th of April, um, for about three or four days after, so from the 29th till about May 3rd, if you do this release, you're making room for your blessings from May to come flowing in, and they will. You guys have a huge month ahead, so congratulations. You've worked hard for this. You have mentally, physically, and emotionally prepared for these moments, and they're coming. They're coming in May. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful month, which I'm sure the majority of you will. Like I said, not all these messages will fit your life. Just take what fits and leave what don't. But um, as a collective, Pisces, you guys are being so blessed in the month of May. So make sure you release um, during this full moon in Scorpio. It's the best time to let everything go. So as always, I'm sending you love and light, and may God bless your journey and your path. Goodbye.